Hi, thanks for checking our channel here. This is going to be hopefully a how to repair video on a Gallagher S22 solar unit of theirs. Um, so we're going to go through it and test things out, see if we can get the thing going. Uh, this is a local, semi local guy brought this to us and um, we're going to work on it for him. Uh, well, the story on this one, it comes on, it clicks, it pulses, but very little output. And so I'm going to verify that, make sure that maybe his tester's got a problem, maybe he's got a problem on his fence. I don't know. So let's uh, go ahead. The battery's hooked up on it. Make sure that rubber switch cover is not broken. Okay, it's nice, bright, flashing light on there. Let's put our tester on the outside. These things usually on the bench, they usually hit about, you know, about 6,000 give or take. Well, 6 kV give or take. And it's flashing and I can barely hear it clicking which these things are kind of quiet to start with so they're not very loud anyways. But it's not putting out anything. See my meter is not moving at all. And you know verified that the customer was telling me that not that he's lying but telling me that the truth is it would come on and clicking but no output. So we're going to dig into this now and see what's going on. Here's our formation right here. Fencerfixer.com is our website. There's our email address, fencerfixer816 at gmail. All right, let me uh, turn it off. So let's open this up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the battery wire just so I can get this, the base and the battery out of the way. This has been a good unit. It's had it for a little while, but since it's just one day, uh, most animals were rubbing against the fence and they weren't getting shocked. So that's when they started digging into it. So we're going to unplug the battery wire and the solar panel wire to get the wires unplugged from it. And then I'm going to get my um, um, electric screwdriver here. I'm going to buzz the three screws out of it. And these uh, our units are very similar in operation and design as the S17s. They have different circuit boards, but they are, come on. Come on. It's stuck in there. There we go. Don't want to bend and break too much, but why is it fighting so much getting out of here? It's hung up on the terminals where the fence and ground are at on the inside. Come on. Come on. Only the three screws. I want that one to come out of there. me out of there all right now we're going to discharge this capacitor there's a big old red one sometimes they were blue but some but most times on these they were red and we're just going to go across the back side of it here hmm. it didn't discharge well it doesn't mean it's bad this means that we might have turned it off at the, at the time that it was um on the discharge side so we might have just timed it just right well, the first thing I want to do, since it does click and it does flash, is I want to change the transformer first. Now, if that fixes it, that's a pretty uh, cheap fix. The only other fix we can do is install a brand new board, which is not cheap, but it's not as expensive as a new one. A new model today is called the S20, um, and they're about 250 to 265 so even putting a new board in there is still cheaper than buying a new one. Um, let me get my solder arms heating up. We're up to 700 and some odd degrees right now, Fahrenheit. 750 Fahrenheit. So let me go grab a transformer for this, desolder, swap it over, try it again, and see what happens. So give me just a minute to go find my parts. All right, this is a transformer for it. All right, so get my soldering iron out, get my desolder braid. It's got four solder joints on there as well as four screws holding it down. Now these these can become sometimes a pain to get off because there's like solder, it almost goes through the whole entire board to the front side. So sometimes we have a hard time getting all the solder off there. Come on.
I hope this fixes it because this would be a nice cheap fix for customer and myself because I don't have to waste installing a brand new board when we don't we can save that board for another repair down the line but if this doesn't fix it we're gonna have to do that that's the only downside and I've got the boards in stock don't have a lot of them because usually fix these boards versus swapping them new come on that's the only other downside this this a, a coating on this board and it's, it sometimes it gets on the solder joints and then we have a hard time getting the uh, solder to so we can add, we can just add new solder to each one Ow. Okay. add new solder to it and that actually kind of eats away that the coating that's on there at the same time and it might make it easier for us to uh, pull the old solder off or yeah original solder that's on there off all right back to this one yeah it seems like it's coming off easier as well come on cat please go on getting there so I got one more solder joint to do a lot of solder on these terminals plus like, like I said there's like solder down it. the hole is not like a perfect round hole it's like slotted and so solder can weep down into the hole and you know, onto the front side of the board which then holds it even more than just on the back side like we're doing now so we might have a little bit of difficulty getting this transformer off still, even after we get all the solder off these four terminals. Quite a bit on here. Taking off a bit at a time. All right, let's get these, let's get these screws off and we can try to pop the transformer off. come off there at all still it's on there tight like it's like it's still <laughs> soldered to it so let's um cut off that and we're going to have to heat that up a little bit more and see if we get any more solder out at all One corner something to come up. All right, I'm gonna put a little pressure on it. As we do that, I'm gonna add a little solder to my iron here. See if we can heat that up at the same time. That side popped up. And then that one, that one popped up on its own, which is good. It means all the solder must have been off that one. So maybe that one's just the only one holding us oh, hot. Okay, there's the old one. Now, I don't know if this is going to fix it 100% or not. Okay, what I'm going to do to make this easier for me to install, see there's solder on the front side as well. 
so it's, it's let's take that solder off too so we're going to put it back in there it's easier to get through the little holes when we go to reinstall it that's that will just hang this up there's solder on the front side as well Double-sided solder boards like this. See, the older ones weren't <laughs> this much of a pain, but they changed their manufacturing process a little bit, and now it's a little bit of a pain. <clears throat> okay, that's the new one. <laughs> Alright, now these do go on a certain way. You can't, you can technically reverse them, but they don't fit quite right. So they gotta go on a certain way, which is this way on that one, so it goes right on. So now let's um, we'll put put one screw in it, start with, and then we'll solder it and we'll test it. And if it goes, a, whoops, tests good and works, then we'll know that we're on the right track. So let's uh, let's solder out. one terminal at a time. Okay, well, let's set those screws over here. We'll get the um, battery out and we'll plug it on here. It's flashing. And put a tester across there. Put it across here to here. There we go. Now it only shows five and a half, but when you get it out on the fence, it should read higher. These are a sharper discharge output on the wave and most of these testers aren't quick enough to pick up the sharper discharge so it's only reading probably 85 percent of what the actual unit's putting out so that one discharged that time okay so now let's go ahead and put the rest of these screws in it get board back over the case back over here let's get this board reinstalled uh, the switch part in there first get that shimmied over there's that plug that wire in it goes down over here on these right there and I need my my 
screws I removed earlier, where did I put those at? Here they are. So now I'll make my magnetizer out and I'll magnetize the screw or the bit a little bit more so that these screws don't fall out as I'm trying to put them in. Make sure the board's all the way seated, which it is. Okay, now I'll grab the, the bottom case, get that hooked in here and here on the little hinges there. Oh shit, hold on. Get this. Stopped, and there we go. Plug this wire up inside here. Why is it not flashing? Oh, we got a connection issue of some sort. Let's um, cut this off. And we'll crimp on a new one. And now it's flashing. That's nice and clean, nice and good. So now we're good to go. Now now we'll close the lid on it. It's all flashing, which may be hard to see in the camera and frame rate and all that stuff, but it is flashing every one point something seconds, I would guess. This one's ready to go, so if you got a Gallagher S22, i just to take a look at for you. I'd be happy to work on it. There's our information right there. Until next time, see you guys later on.